Ooh, nice. Look at this. This thing is clean inside. Very clean. Nice. All right, back at it. All right, so the heads are off. They don't look bad. We'll get some springs, possibly. Need a good cleaning, for sure. They're 452 castings. Cylinders, this is the worst right here. Uh, what you saw me throwing out on the speed, the speed vision was uh, mud dauber nest. There's nothing safe from mud daubers around here. So I think we're gonna go with it. After all, I'll emery cloth the cylinders real lightly without pulling the pistons out. Um, it's a grenade motor. Did anybody ever build one of those? You know, when your other motor that you spend all that money on doesn't work out. You slap together something with all the crap you got laying around. <clears throat> and then you expect it to grenade and it winds up probably being some of the best motor you ever built. So who knows? All right, going back at it. Okay, so heads are off, oil is out. Had water in the pan. That's pretty ugly. That is really ugly. Deep too. Ugh. But that's just from sitting. That's a truck pan, I don't care. That is a truck pickup, I don't care. The nice thing is it never got up into here. So we're gonna pull the, we're gonna pull this guy out. We'll check a rod back here and a main back here, which is farthest or away from the oil pump, and we will see what they look like. So we pulled the main and the rod. Now I know you can't really see in there. That rod bearing don't look bad. Looks a little worn. Here's the cap for it. Again, I've run a lot worse than that, so. Looks good on the crank. And then the main, you wanna check the top the rod side of the of the bearings on the rods and the bottom on the on the on the mains because that's what takes the brunt that sucker there looks really good so i think we're going to run these and so be it yep 
cheap, 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 and more cheap. So <clears throat> we'll clean this bottom end up. We'll order a oil. We'll, whoops. We'll clean this bottom end up. We will order a six quart oil pan with a pickup tube, 440 source. That's what's on here. It works. Um, I think I'm going to leave that oil pump on there and we will prime it. And I have a gauge in the garage laying on the shelf. So we can do that. Um, going to get a Benzomatic slash Krylon restoration. We'll clean the deck up a little bit. New gaskets. It had already had steel gaskets on it. So not much I'm going to be able to do there with the steel gaskets I already have. All I can do is mill the heads to try and get some compression out of it. Try to get it to eight and a half or something. You know, maybe we can get it into 1350 range, quarter mile. Fun car. Roast a few tires. Um, so that's where I'm at. Um, other than trying to clean it up and do whatever, uh, we're at a standstill with it until I get the heads into the shop and start ordering some things. The camshaft is bone stock. It has no stamping on it whatsoever. Um, boy, I wish I could reuse those lifters. Those are old school lifters. Uh, but I can't, so. We will work on cleaning this up and go from there. The, uh, yeah, that oil pan wasn't too nice, but you know what? It's a good thing it wasn't in there while it was running. <clears throat> So um, we are calling it a day because I got to go do my domestical duties of starting dinner and the skeeters are coming out. So um, if you like, please like, subscribe and share. Um, this is for this guy here. Problem child. And uh, yeah. So we're going to, I've already found a converter. Uh, yeah, we're going to work, we're going to get her going. Hopefully in 30 days or less. That's what I'm shooting for. All right. Like I said, like, subscribe, and share. Um, we will see you on the next one. Everybody have a great night.